check the underhood fluids, open the hood. The safety release is here, push it up. Your brake fluid reservoir is here. There is a minimum and maximum line. You wanna make sure it stays at the maximum line. This fluid looks nice and clear and clean, so that's good. This dip seat down here is for your automatic transmission to check the fluid level. You need to have the vehicle up to operating temperature. It doesn't have to be running. You should shut it off once it's up to temp and you pull your dipstick out. Wipe up the rag, replace it. Pull it back out and it will be between these two marks here when it's full. The fluid should look nice and clean and pink. If you need to add automatic transmission fluid, there is a fill uh, plug there. I'm just gonna use this socket extension to help clean it out. It is a 17 millimeter. So you'd remove this, put your long funnel and tube down there, fill it until it goes to the correct mark on the dipstick, and then you reinstall your drain plug or your fill plug. Check the engine oil. It is the orange dipstick here. Pull it out after the engine has been shut off for a few minutes. Wipe it. So we can see this oil is nice and clean and it's at the high fill mark. It's exactly where we want it. If you needed to add oil, you can replace your dipstick first. Remove this cap here. Tells you the weight that it takes. Put your funnel in here and add your oil. You add it till it reaches the top fill mark on the dipstick. This is your power steering fluid reservoir. The bottle is sort of translucent, so you can take a light and you can shine through it. It'll help you see how much uh, fluid level is in there. There is a high and low mark. It's slightly over the high mark, but I'm not too worried about that. It should be right at the high mark. If you need to add some, you can open this cap, pour in your power steering fluid into this reservoir, and fill it to the high mark. And replace your cap when you're done. This here is your coolant reservoir, your overflow reservoir. This also has a high low mark. Uh, a lot of times you'll end up with the coolant is a little bit low in here. We should add some to bring it up to this low mark. Uh, it's not super crucial to have this totally filled up. What's more important is when the vehicle is cool, you should check, always do this when the vehicle is cool. Never do it after you've been run, driving the vehicle. It even tells you this on the cap. So when the vehicle is cool, you can open this cap and your coolant should be right at the top of the radiator. If it's not at the top of the radiator, you should add coolant to the radiator when the vehicle is cool and bring it right up to the top. This is your washer fluid reservoir. This one's nice and full. You can pull the cap to add more if you need some. Uh, the cap also has a dipstick to help you check the level. But it's usually fairly easy because it's a big clear bottle. You can take a light and shine it. And you can see washer fluid is usually a nice blue color. You can see that it's full or not. Thanks for watching. 
Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.